Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. And in this episode, we will continue on our quest to cook with plant-based meats by making a delicious spicy sausage, pepper, and onion pasta sauce. Now again, this is plant-based. It's plant-based spicy sausage. And I'm telling you, these plant-based meats are getting so good, you won't be able to tell the difference between this plant-based meat and the animal-based meat you might usually use in your pasta sauce. Now, why am I doing this series on cooking with plant-based meats? Number one, they're getting delicious. These times are very different than years ago when they were kind of eh, and quite frankly, I couldn't eat them. The plant-based meats are getting delicious. The beef, the pork, the chicken, and even some of the fish is fantastic. Number two, we're doing this for our health. Our doctors are telling us to ease up some on animal-based meats. This is a great way to do it without sacrificing flavor from our menu. And number three, of course, is because of global warming. It takes less, less fossil fuels, which means less greenhouse gases and less global warming to make plant-based meats than it does to make animal-based meats. So look at that. We are contributing three great things, deliciousness, good health, and we're saving the planet just by making this dish. So come on, let's cook. So here are the ingredients for our spicy plant-based sausage pasta sauce. The first thing we're going to use is three quarters of a cup of this plant-based spicy sausage. And you might have to try a couple of different sausages until you find the one that appeals to you. I really do like this one. I'm also going to use half of a green bell pepper, about three quarters of this small onion, and one garlic clove, which I know comes as a surprise to those of you who binge watch all 225 plus step-by-step -step chef episodes. I'm only using one clove because I don't want it to interfere with the delicious taste of that spicy plant-based sausage. I'm going to use one teaspoon of Italian seasonings, this large can of crushed tomatoes, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, that's what we're going to saute this in. I have rotini as my pasta of the day. You can pick whatever one you want. And then I'll probably top it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So that's it. Let me show you how to put all this together. And the first thing we're going to do is prepare our vegetables. And I already rinsed off this pepper. And if you don't want to use green pepper, you can use our favorite sweet red pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, and any other pepper that appeals to you. Um, this will just add a nice flavor, very complementary to the sausage. So I'm just removing the core and the seeds. Oops, some of the seeds got away, as will happen. There we go. And then we're going to finely mince this. I don't want big pieces of pepper in it. Again, I don't want to really overpower um, the spicy plant-based sausage. So I'm kind of cutting this really thin. And then we'll just cut it sideways. You can add more or less of the pepper. It's totally up to you. In fact, I'm going to be honest with you, which I always am. I'm going to stop right there because this pepper is very pungent and I don't want it to take over the dish. So I'm adding less, less than the half a pepper than I had anticipated. So I'm going down to um, just over a third of the pepper. And I do this often. Sometimes you have some intent in mind and then when you... Um, uh, actually get the aroma of the ingredient, you're like, whoa, that's going to overpower it. I have that happen with garlic. I have it happen with jalapenos quite often <laughs> and other peppers where you actually get fear when you smell how hot they are. And that's why I'm doing this. So you can see it's a nice fine mince. And I'm going to put this into the pan that we're going to saute it in. Um, it just saves time. And this is actually my lunch, so, um, you know, time is of the essence. This isn't just great TV. The step-by-step -step chef isn't just great TV. This is actually my meal, as are the other 225-plus videos on Step-by-Step -step Chef. And you will find breakfast, lunch, and dinner there, and you're also going to find plant-based, animal-based meats, and uh, vegan. So there's a wide variety of dishes there, and vegetarian. So you will find what you're looking for there. Go take a look. But not till we're done with this video.
You'll also find printable, free printable recipes, and you're going to find video links for each of each and every one of them. So we are going to hang out, and we're going to have a great time on the Step by Step Chef. So what I'm doing is just removing the skin from this onion. Let's just peel that down. Nobody likes onion skin in their pasta sauce. I guess it's just a tradition. <laughs> Plus, it, it'll stick to your lips. Um, so we're just peeling this down. This is a powerful onion, powerful little onion too. And then all I'm doing, oops. Okay, there we go. Let's shift that aside. And then what I'm going to do is just cut the top of the onion down, make the lines very close together, because we want a fine mince. I don't want big chunks of onion in this um, pasta sauce. So I'm just doing these lines very close together. And then I'm going perpendicular, and that makes little squares on the top. This adds a really good zest to a pasta sauce and, um, and some good nutrients too. And I love to do that. I love to make dishes that are complicated on the nutrient scale. Now I'm just gonna cut down the face of the onion, and this will make nice little minced pieces of onion. Mm, wow, this onion is going to be tasty, too. I love that. And this is why I love making fresh pasta sauces. It's not that complicated. And it's always, always, always going to be better than the pasta sauces you can get in a can or a bottle or a jar. So that's just going right, right in there, too. And don't worry, preheaters. The people who worry about preheating will make up for it. <laughs> Sometimes I, people will come to me and go, well, you didn't preheat the pan. Well, I want to know something. It still turned out great. There's no, the cool thing about cooking is there's so many ways to do it. Everyone is stuck on like, well, you're supposed to do it this way. Well, you don't have to just do it one way. Do it your way. So what I'm doing is I um, just cut this clove of garlic, and it's actually two cloves snuck in there. I have a crusher. If you don't have a crusher, then just finely mince the garlic, peel it, and finely mince it. And I'm just putting it in there, and let me, um, just to make it easier, let's get a little container. Just crushing it down. Oh boy, that's going to be tasty. And what I'm going to do is add this a little bit later in the saute process, just so it doesn't brown or scorch. It's a little bit more delicate when it's crushed. And you should probably do the same thing when you're cooking with minced garlic, too. So now I'm going to meet you over at the stove. Okay, so I have this skillet, and it is on medium heat. I'm going to add our oil to it, and it's just heating up. It'll be plenty heated to finely saute our vegetables. And I'm just going to mix it all together. And while we're doing this, what we want to do is put our pasta water on and prepare it, start to prepare it, according to the directions on the box of the pasta that you bought. Because everybody has a different taste. You might be using spaghetti, angel hair spaghetti, that really thick spaghetti like you had in elementary school. Uh, you might be using shells. And, um, oh boy, there's so many different kinds of pasta now. So, plan on preparing that according to the box. But I would start the water now for it, because these other ingredients will prepare pretty quickly. So what we're going for here, and it'll probably take about five minutes, is a saute where these vegetables, the pepper and the onion, start to appear a little bit transparent, translucent. When they start to do that, We'll stir in the garlic, and we'll stir in the sausage. Get that all mixed up. And then we're going to add the um, tomato sauce, the crushed tomatoes. So there's your preview of coming attractions, and I'll be right back. And here we are, three minutes into the cooking process. And these are looking really good. The onions are starting to turn translucent. So what we're going to do is add our garlic. Just stir that in. And again, you can add more or less of any of these ingredients. It's totally up to you. And now we're going to add some Italian seasonings. Get that nice and stirred in. Nice melding 
of flavors by doing it this way. And then we'll squeeze in our plant-based spicy Italian sausage. Now we're getting serious in the flavor melding. And what we're going to do is prepare the spicy Italian sausage according to the directions on the package. This takes about three minutes to brown up. And you do want it to brown up just like you would with traditional sausage. Um, you know, you don't want to overcook it, but you want it nice and browned all the way through. You don't want kind of gooey sausage in this dish. But it's going to pick up the nice flavors of these other ingredients. So this sausage says three to four minutes to prepare, and I'm going to guess it's going to take three to four minutes to prepare. <laughs> so here we go. And I'm just going to keep doing this, kind of moving it around, and I'll be back in three to four minutes. And four minutes later, our sausage has nicely browned. I kept stirring it the whole time. And now we're just going to pour in, carefully pour in, our crushed tomatoes. And turn the heat down a little, because what we're going to do now is just warm it up. And once it reaches a simmer, it's ready to serve. So we don't have to cook it for a long, long time. In fact, you don't want to cook it for a long, long time with these plant-based meats in it. You know, they're, they're a little bit more delicate than um, animal-based meats. So just bring it up to an, a simmer where you know it's warm enough to eat, and then you can put it on the pasta. And now I'm gonna go pour the pasta in the hot water, and by the time it's all done, it's all done, and I'll be right back. And I'm gonna guess this'll take about the same time it takes to cook that pasta I bought, which is about 10 minutes. So I'll be back in 10. Okay, I'm back in 10 seconds. Make sure to cover this up because that will splatter like mad. So cover it up and turn it back to low and then in 10 minutes, I'll be back. So congratulations. Look at what you just did. You just made this delicious plant-based spicy sausage, pepper, and onion pasta sauce. It was that easy. It really was easy, wasn't it? Oh, come on, you know it was easy. Now, if you like this recipe, please go to my website, stepbystepchef.com. There you will find a printable version of this recipe and well over 225 other recipes. Some of them involve plant-based meats, some of them animal-based meats, some of them are vegetarian, some are vegan, and some are everything in between that I, I really don't know what the definition is. <laughs> so take a look. But the other thing you're going to find is a is a video link for each and every one of them a free video link where i show you how to make these dishes it's you and me together we are going to cook over 225 times and we're really going to know each other by the time we're done and i hope you're you're as pleased as i am now please go to the website stepbystepchef.com i'm larry richardson i am your step-by-step -step chef and i'll see you in the next episode Mmm.